after downloading vSuite tools in zip format, we'll unzip it to access four modules, vFactory, vLicense, vPlane, and vScreen. So we have the choice. We can either add them to our project directly or place them in the editor's plugin folder for global use. To do this, we will go to the program files, then find the Epic Games folder and open the specific version of Unreal Engine required for vSuite tools. Inside, we will go to the plugins folder. If there isn't a folder named Marketplace, we will create one and name it Marketplace. Once that's done, we will just drag and drop the four modules into the Marketplace folder. That's it. Now we will create our project and start the activation. For this, we will launch Unreal Engine. Regardless of the type of project you're working on, whether it's for gaming, virtual production, in-camera VFX, or any other Unreal Engine project, be it for development or virtual production, I will start by selecting a game blank project template. I'll name the project vSuite Tools and choose a location to create it. After launching the project, our first step will be to activate the necessary plugins by going to the Edit menu. In the Plugins menu, we'll search for vSuite, activate all four modules, and then click Restart. Once the editor restarts, you'll notice messages at the bottom of the screen prompting you to activate the license. Don't worry, this is completely normal. If you're not ready to activate the license yet, or if it's not the right time, you can just disable the plugins, select them again later, and restart the editor to stop those notifications from popping up. Now, I will start the activation of vSuite tools. For that, I will look for the license key, which you can find in the email you received or on your account page. Sometimes if the window is not visible, you just need to click somewhere here and wait. It will appear in the center of the screen. So here, I'll enter the license activation code and click activate license. You'll see a confirmation message with all the details about your active license, along with a prompt asking you to restart the editor. It's important to restart the editor so everything is properly set up and ready to go. I'll click yes, and it'll ask if I want to save any unsaved work to avoid losing progress. So I'll confirm by clicking yes again. Once that's done, the project will restart successfully, and you'll notice a new button in the toolbar that lets you reopen the activation window whenever you need to. Keep in mind that the license will expire after seven days of use. Since the license has a temporary expiration, all you need to do is click on reactivate your license that's it, this will renew the license for another seven days. It's important to do this regularly as it's a required system check to make sure your license remains valid. Just click on reactivate your license and wait for the server to respond. It might take a little while, so be patient. If you don't get a response, it's probably due to an internet connection issue. I recommend checking your connection, then try again by clicking the window and selecting reactivate once more. And there it is. After a few seconds, the confirmation message appeared. Click yes, then yes again, and the editor will restart with a fresh new license, giving you a full seven day activation cycle. That wraps up the installation and activation. Now let's move on to using vSuite tools.